Greetings to everyone watching this video. In this video, I'll be discussing the aerodynamics of a plane. This theory is also known as the theory of flight. Before getting into the actual theory, let us understand a few basic parts of an aircraft, which will help us to understand this theory. In an aircraft, we will have something called engine. Engine is used to accelerate or decelerate the aircraft. The next one is wing. Wing is used for the upward and downward movement. These are something known as extendable flaps, which can be extended. In order to increase the surface area of the wings, these you might have seen during the takeoffs or landings usually. Okay, so these are, will help to operate the aircraft at considerably lower speeds. This is called as the vertical stabilizer. The vertical stabilizer helps to manage the directional stability. Okay. The next one is called rudder. Rudder will help us to handle the yaw motion of an aircraft that is the uh, rotation about the vertical axis. The next one is called as elevator which is attached to something called as the horizontal stabilizer. The horizontal stabilizer stabilizes the horizontal motion of an aircraft and elevator helps to uh, maintain the pitch motion of the aircraft okay next after having learnt all this now let us move to the technical terms of the theory of flight there are basically four fundamental technical terms known as thrust drag weight and lift okay thrust and drag are opposite to each other lift and weight are opposite to each other how are they? Let's say. Thrust is basically the force that you produce to accelerate the aircraft. Drag is something which is experienced by an aircraft. It's just as the friction as you experience in day to day life for every motion. Weight is the downward force which is perpendicular to the uh, air flow. Okay. And it's nothing but the force due to the gravitational acceleration and mass of the aircraft. Lift is something that it's a force that you apply to overcome the weight of an aircraft. That is lift helps us to move the aircraft in the upward direction. Let's see how it will help. In order to fly, we need to have some conditions satisfied. That is if the thrust is more than drag then only we can move forward okay and if we want to fly or if we want to climb then the lift must be greater than weight then only we can climb it's obvious and if lift is equal to weight then we can cruise at one particular attitude that is a vertical velocity will be zero okay and if the lift is less than weight then it's obvious that we will start descending. This is how an aircraft flies. Okay, you can see that uh, the extendable flaps are also there, and the uh, there is enormous amount of the wing surface area. Okay, now as you all know, nothing is complete without math. So let us uh, try to understand it mathematically. So let's do some math. How do we represent lift mathematically? As we know that the Bernoulli's equation states that P plus half rho V square is equal to constant. Though it was stated for the pressure variation in case of water motion, but as even the air is fluid, we can consider it in this case as well. It's a very similar case. So in order to understand this equation better, we have some equation called the continuity equation that states rho av is constant. So this equation is the very important equation in order to understand the theory of flight. That is, if, as you know, if the density 
decreases then obviously the velocity will be more so it's if something decreases here another one will be increased to maintain that particular constant on the rhs okay that's what is the continuity equation and the bernoulli's equation can be easily derived from this okay so now as you can see suppose this is the wing and if i take the vertical cross section of the wing then it will look something like this which is highly asymmetric you can see now there are two surfaces one is the upper surface and the other one is the lower surface you can see clearly that the upper surface has more area than the lower surface from the equation of continuity it's obvious that the surface area is more on the upper part so the velocity of the air moving will be high it's much higher compared to the the velocity of the air which is passing below the airfoil so according to bernoulli's equation this must be satisfied by the pressure right so the upper part we will have lower pressure than the lower part okay so here we will have less pressure here there will be more pressure so here the pressure is less the pressure is more in the upward direction so the net pressure will obviously be in the upward direction hence the aircraft flies that is what is called as the lift this pressure is called as lift okay and the lift lift equation is given by lift is equal to cl half rho v square s yes, where these are the terms where cl is called as the coefficient of lift next we have something called as weight it's just the weight of any object okay so new by the newton second law we have weight is equal to mass into the gravitational acceleration it's as simple as that what is drag drag is the friction that opposes the forward motion of the aircraft okay so the, this friction can be reduced by making the aircraft surface as smooth as possible the wings the body everything literally okay so there should not be much friction in order to avoid more amount of drag okay so the drag equation is given by this cd half rho v square yes where cd is denoted with cd is called the drag coefficient what is thrust thrust is the force that we apply through the engines by burning fuel in order to take the aircraft forward okay this has to exceed drag this is again given by the newton second law using the conditions of flight that we used in the earlier case uh, earlier slides we can say that the thrust must be greater than drag that gives rise to this particular condition this particular equation and we know that the lift must be greater than weight in order to climb so this equation must be satisfied to climb effectively okay so the conclusion is that if chi is the efficiency of an aircraft then we can conclude that chi is directly related to the lift coefficient and is inversely related to the drag coefficient so engineers always aim to lower the value of cd and increase the value of cl okay so as you know we can increase the value of cl by modifying the wings so you can see that the different aircrafts have different you know the wing structure in order to make it more and more efficient okay so thank you for listening this is it for this video and i hope i try to convey what i wanted to thank you